Hi, my name is Jonathan Ashmore and I'm the founder and principal architect of Dubai and London based practice and architect. Recorded just outside his office in Dubai, what is your favorite project in your portfolio? One of an architect's most recent intriguing projects is the Al Faya Desert Retreat in Sharjah in the UAE. This was a project where we brought back to life two 1960s redundant and abandoned buildings in the desert. Uh, one building was previously a clinic and the other one was previously a grocery store which were split either side of a through road which also had the UAE's oldest petrol pump on site. We repurposed the project into a desert lodge and a restaurant and we actually also built an additional new build uh, saltwater spa experience. Um, the project itself really resonated with people purely because it was sort of embodied the idea of the removal from the city into the desert, particularly in the UAE, but also the idea of a primordial luxury, something that was a removal, something that meant you were actually connecting with nature without too many distractions. The project itself and the way that we worked with that also from the material perspective is that we use core 10 steel and the irony was that the actual iron content was quite high within the sand within the surrounding region which gave this really beautiful oxid red color to it as well we used that particular material to designate and identify the new interventions within the project in parallel and sort of you know in, in sort of complementary to the existing structures which we then brought back to life with sort of the, the concrete stone and plaster detailing to really uh, you know embody a project Project that drew people out to a context that they maybe were not familiar with. So it has been a very uh, an interesting uh, process and actually really given us a passion for desert architecture. Which cities or places have influenced your work the most? Three places that influence my work the most. Uh, firstly is the UAE's desert context. I find it really uh, intriguing as a piece of nature and it's something that's very different from where I grew up in the UK which was uh, in, in Yorkshire. So the actual desert context being the natural landscape of the UAE and the inspiration and the connection with the sky and the long distance views and the rolling dunes was something that's actually really inspiring um, as an architect. Uh, secondly, London. Um, London is where I studied. London is where I actually did my informative years within my education and also my career. And I'll see the idea that London has this sort of very dense urban fabric and that both architecture engages on a architectural built form, it infiltrates into the interiors, it looks at modifications, it really works with complex sites and really works with complex issues in regards to physicality. So when I actually relocated to Dubai, I really brought that influence from London uh, in setting up an architect looking at both the holistic view to as architecture, interiors and design spaces. And finally, um, a city that's really inspiring me right now is actually Belgrade in Serbia. The city has a, has a real grit, it has a real kind of authentic energy, it has opportunity and it has sort of a, a layering within the city of its history, both from you know buildings of the early 19th, early 20th century, through to sort of the brutalist movements that were really kind of at the forefront of their time and ambitious in the post-World War II uh, period. So there's a lot of energy in that bill, in that city embodied within the actual architecture that really kind of creates an inspiration for new, new work that we have coming. Do you expect COVID to change the way we design? I actually do believe the way in which we design will change post-pandemic because human habits will change post-pandemic and the concern about security, the understanding of space, the perceptions of what luxury is and how this will actually ultimately create a cultural shift. Looking at design, I think people spending a lot more time in their homes during the lockdowns will mean that the importance of designing indoor and outdoor space is very much a key aspect of going forward and that people will be looking at this as something as the new ultimate luxury in which they require. The idea of then, you know, project typologies such as hospitality, um, scale will become important. The idea of moving in towards a boutique experience and an off-place experience, something that's a destination. So the idea of hospitality projects that really embody authenticity, that really look at the idea of experience 
will certainly be something that we feel will be the design direction going forward, and that will be what will ultimately draw people to travel. What is your favorite material to work with? It's natural stone. Stone is a material that's of place. It represents the place in which it actually comes from. It's also historically uh, a building material. And now with new technology, looking at stone in ways in which you can work very precisely is a really exciting way moving forward. Um, stone also has you know, structural load-bearing properties, so using stone as the structure of a building and being honest about the design and the structural integrity of a, of a building actually is a really great opportunity using that particular material. The different grains, the different finishes, it's a very flexible material itself and actually relatively quite sustainable. We recently had the luxury of working with Stone on a project we completed in Dubai, the Dubai Hills Villa, where we really had the opportunity to try and take Stone from both the interior and exterior spaces, using Stone and its heavy mass and coolness to kind of chill the ambient temperature. But also within the staircase itself, had this real a beautiful opportunity to explore stone in a very precise way much like you would do either metalwork detailing or even joinery detailing so stone is a fantastic material to work with what aspects of architecture bring you the greatest pleasure one of my greatest pleasures in architecture is actually the process itself the idea of the communication between the architect the collaborative team and the client coming together with an idea and then through a very creative design process and really kind of looking at the ideas and the solutions of a particular challenge, then manifesting that through a series of drawings and communicating all of those design ideas collectively, eventually coming to something that is actually manifested into the physical. The idea of making, the idea of building and translating this idea and the process of drawings to ultimately ending up with a building and a space is probably the most rewarding, most pleasurous aspect of architecture I know. And it's one of the reasons that I've followed this as a final passion. What project in your pipeline are you particularly looking forward to? There are two projects I'm particularly excited about in our pipeline. Uh, one is based in Sri Lanka on the southern coast, the Harding Boutique Hotel is a destination hospitality hotel for a young entrepreneur that's based on the footprint of an old destroyed tsunami house on the south coast. The project really embodies uh, the ideas of tropical modernism and actually elevates the building on three floors taking you up to the level of the palm groves so it gives you a new perspective from this particular plot and the way in which we've embraced this through local building techniques, local materials, and also, also looking at the way in which uh, passive design has really kind of like driven the process of the actual architecture through cross ventilation, you know, open shower areas and bathrooms, something that was really an authentic experience when we we're actually working within Sri Lanka itself. Secondly, in London, we have a very exciting project, which is actually a very unique individual historic house in Belgravia which we're amalgamating with a rear uh, muse building and creating a very contemporary modern home intervention within this space bringing this sort of new idea of luxury the new luxury of a wellness space home working flexible living space really kind of embodied with the current times into a very you know complicated and very niche little location